I am not a monster. I am a scientist. Francis? Patrick. Please. Patrick. Patrick, what the hell? I'm not following your rules anymore. All right? I put in my resignation. You won't have to put up with this crazy bitch anymore. The giant drug corporation Neurocom has reportedly received more applicants for the trial of Fixerall than any of its other trials combined. Back to you, Victoria. Kelly, did you apply for that trial? Oh, no, no, not my style. I'm more interested in brainwave therapy. Oh, the ones they do when you're asleep. <laughs> it's the only free time I have. Well, maybe one day they'll get the brain to bypass sleep. The field of neuroscience has made tremendous advances in the past five years. What's with this latest theory we've been hearing about? Synapse replication theory? Is there anything to it? Theories are a dime a dozen, Victoria. This is this is just the latest to come across our desk that is more hot air than substance. I believe Robert has more on that story. Thanks, Kelly. Synapse replication theory is just another name for the idea put forth by Dr. Francis Stein almost two years ago called memory retrieval theory and one which has yet to gain any scientific footing. As you'll remember, Dr. Francis Stein's idea was the basis of the well-funded memory retrieval project. Unfortunately, her research fell apart under scrutiny as she was accused of fraud by her own husband, Patrick Stein, an accusation which led to their divorce. Patrick Stein won't be alone in the lab for long, however. His new wife, Jane Ellis, is at part seven, the youngest recipient and the only female ever to be awarded the Thomas T. Franklin Fellowship for Advancements in Science. They have yet to announce their intentions to continue working in the Make yourself at home. I'm sure you know where everything is. Probably better than I do. Hope you like it. I'm sure somebody will. Dr. Francis always did. I'm sure she did.
the problem is with, 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 that, with that kind of money is a short Nice dress. Oh, Jane, there you are. Let me introduce you. You know the Lovitz. This is Dave Hemingway and Bob Frost, both in physics. This is my lovely wife, Jane. Jane comes to us with a long list of honors. The Thomas T. Franklin Fellowship Trust is just the latest. Yes, congratulations on your awards, my gosh. She's brilliant, obviously. And in good company. Oh, here, let me introduce you to our resident biochemist. How much influence did Patrick use to make that happen? Which part? The fellowship position or the marriage? Two doctorates? <laughs> I didn't realize. Yeah, what's the second one, Anna? Uh, perhaps the question you should be asking is how quickly she'll be taking away your research money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not my money. I'm a physicist. Oh, you never know. This gal has quite the reputation. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lovely party, Mrs. Stein. Oh, oh, actually, it's Dr. Ellis. You decided not to change your name? Oh, I don't blame her. A woman isn't property. Am I right? <laughs> And I wouldn't want to be confused with that other Dr. Mrs. Stein. I think I speak on behalf of all of us when I say we're so happy to have you with us tonight, Jane. And uh, you make a lovely couple. Here, here. Oh. Cheers. 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 Can I get you anything? No, thank you. What are you doing over here all by yourself? You should mingle. This is Dr. Stein's piano. Could you? Oh no, I can't play. I wish I could. Can you? No. What would have been much? Could you not do that? You know, there are a lot of people watching me. Not just the party, not just the university. There are people out there expecting me to do big things. I could use your help.
I don't need any of you. Fuck you all. Hang on just a second. I'm going to record this. What's your relationship to Frances Stein? She was a colleague. Colleague? We were friends, uh, you know, colleagues. She was a colleague. She was faculty. I'm faculty. I'm her colleague and friend. Different department, same institutional shit. When you're good at what you do, people want to tear you down, I guess. In her prime, she was something else. Very high standards. Not a genius. Genius. I mean, pure and simple. An opportunist. She was brilliant. Brilliant? I suppose. Not always nice. She could be difficult. She brought a lot of money in. <laughs> Nobody was going to turn that down. God knows I couldn't work for her. You, you really didn't want to make a mistake in front of her. She had a reputation. Bitch. Witch. Crazy professor. She's a bitch. Kind of a, of a bitch. She was as difficult as she needed to be. She pushed. It's different for women in this field. Crazy. Probably. I don't think she was crazy. I don't think she was happy. I don't have anything else to say. I'm Avery Newman. I'm a neurobiotic lab technician. I've been with the department for several years now. I've been Dr. Stein's dedicated assistant for almost two years. Dr. Francis Stein. Yes. Take your time. Can I have a drink of water? Sure. My understanding that you followed Frances outside when she left the party. Did you talk to her? No. Not at all? No, we didn't speak at all. Dr. Francis! Dr. Francis, please! What? Are you okay? Do I look okay? Did, did you get my message? Which one? I heard the new administration talking and they want to bring you back. We can make a work oh, together again. Oh, for God's again. sake. Don't be stupid. I kept your secret. I waited, just like you said. I did everything you asked. Why won't you talk to me? Avery, for God's sake, now is not the time. You're working with someone else now, aren't you? Look, I know... This is hard. But you're gonna have to play Igor for someone else now, sweetheart. Like, are you okay? Leave me alone! In the past, Mr. Newman, did Dr. Stein seem stable to you? Yes. Always? Until the last few months. And what changed? She resigned. I um, didn't get to see her anymore. But before that, she seemed rational. She was always rational. Hey, Mr. Newman, we have a lot of questions for you today. If you could try to answer them more completely, we'll get through this a lot quicker, okay? The last time you worked with her, did anything seem out of the ordinary? No. Not at all. Damn it. Why are you here? 
Avery, thank God. I need a steady hand. Come here. What's wrong? Nothing. I put those gloves on. What specimen is this? Just follow my instructions. I thought that your access was blocked last week. It was. Is there anyone here? I don't think so. You're not to speak of this. I won't. This is what I need you to do. Tell me about the project that led to Dr. Stein's resignation. The memory retrieval project. You were one of her assistants. I was her only assistant, yes. What was the goal of the project, in your words? To create a neurobionic interface that could download the memories from a human brain into a computer. Basically to read a person's thoughts. Their memories, yes. You could see where a project like this might generate a lot of interest with certain organizations. No need for interrogation anymore. Just plug a subject up to a computer, view the evidence, bingo. In theory. You're saying it never worked? That's what I'm saying. Think of your mother, Mrs. Greer. Think. Think. Focus. Good. Very good. If it never worked, how did she continue to get funding? She falsified data. As a matter of fact, it was her own husband, um, Patrick. He discovered what she'd been doing. He turned her in. Why didn't you turn her in, Mr. Newman? I didn't know that the fraud was happening. Really? You worked with her on this project for over a year. And you had no clue. I'm not a neurologist, okay? I'm a computer tech, so an equipment specialist. I don't interpret data. I just make sure it can be recorded. What did you think when Frances showed up at the party? I thought she looked like shit. Let me rephrase. What do you think she was there for? Revenge. Patrick, please call us. Any time. I'm really worried about her. And you. Thank you. Good night. We'll see you Monday. I know. You've barely been here a week. A little time has to pass, that's all. Is this just your office? What do you mean? I mean, did Francis have an office? Uh, not really. I just shared this one. Why do you do that? You lick your finger and you rub it across your eyebrows. Do you know how unsanitary that is? It's my germs. It's not like I'm spitting on your eyebrows. I'm going to bed. Are you coming?
So back to the night of the party. You ran out after her, and she was already driving away. Did you go back into the party? I went home. And what did you do once you got home? I was tired. I went to sleep. Jennifer? Yes, Avery? Track Dr. Francis Stein. Ongoing. All data evidence. Complying. You went to sleep? Weren't you at least a little bit concerned about what Francis might do next? It was a very fitful sleep. Neurocom.
This is Patrick Stein. This is Craven. Slow down. I, I don't, I don't understand. Who's that? No, I don't know if she's been there. Right. Calm down. Just, just wait for me. I'm coming now. I, uh, I have to go to the apartment downtown. Uh, someone tried to break in. Maybe. She's not sure. She? The manager. Why did she call you? Uh, Francis won't answer. And Mrs. Craven's scared of her. Why doesn't she just call the police? Uh, my name's on the lease. If she got the cops involved, I'd have to go down there anyway. It's probably nothing. It won't take long. Okay. Did you work in the same area as Jane Ellis, Patrick's wife? Yes, but she'd only been there a week. What did you think of her? She seemed capable. Did you find her attractive? I never thought of her that way. She was Patrick's wife. I have a meeting in half an hour, but I have to talk to you. I've been inquiring about someone to collaborate with her in the first project. You'll need supervision for the first year. It's a stipulation of the fellowship. Patrick, Dr. Ellis, welcome aboard. Oh. Looking forward to the party. There are several good projects. There's Dr. Faust's, 
There's Dr. Lovitz. Uh, Patrick. There's Dr. Dr. Gaines. Patrick, consider this my RSVP. Very good. See you Saturday. We need to talk soon. Okay. I know Gaines would love to have you on his team. Look, I'm a big girl. I'll let you know when I've decided who can supervise me. Good morning, Avery. Good morning. Are you familiar with the corporation Neurocom? They're our biggest competitors in the research field. They disgust you. They're not about research. They're about money. Were you aware of their interest in the memory retrieval device? No. Not at all? I'm not surprised, but no, I had no knowledge of it. This came from the rodent lab. They asked me to bring this to you. Just sit it right there. I don't know what she did with this hamster's brainstem, but she performed especially well on all the tests. I mean, genius level. Patrick? We need to talk. I just heard a rumor from a representative with Neurocom. Seems they have contracts with the CIA who are very interested in a device that could catalog people's memories. If the CIA gets the memory retrieval device before we do, we are out a lot of money. We have to get to Francis before Neurocom does. I want that project back here, no matter what it takes. And so you have to talk to Francis. Sweet talker. Threaten her. I don't care. But I want something substantial in our hands by the end of next week. Oh, by the way, I'm not going to be able to make it to your party. Dr. Francis, you have to call me. I just heard Patrick talking to the new president. I think they want to steal your project. Just call me. Avery. I was hoping we could talk. You know, I heard through the grapevine that Neurocom has offered Francis a lot of money to restart the memory retrieval program. So here's what I think. I think she faked the fake results. But really, she's been holding everything back until she could get a better offer. The apartment. The one in the city? Francis has been staying there. See what you can find. She wouldn't like that. She was just using you, Avery. She cut you out. I could make it worth your while. I could split everything with you, Avery. 50-50. Do it for me, Avery. Or I could make your life very unpleasant. Are you harassing me, Mr. Newman? You should come to the party. People will talk if you don't. The specimen consented to the experimentation before his death, which is key to mapping the somatosensory responses. Since so many of the nerve patterns were recorded before death, it should be a small matter to stimulate certain body functions. This will only be possible for a few hours, but let's see what we can make him do. And finally, 
finally. <laughs> Research is on its way to completely reanimating the human body, from synapses to sexual organs. Uh, well, that's impossible, according to Dr. Lovett. Well, Dr. Lovett is wrong. Excuse me? Oh, you must be Dr. Lovett. We work in realities here, not science fiction. Much of science fiction becomes reality if we don't limit ourselves, Dr. Lovett. I'm Jane Ellis. Dr. Gaines asked me to come and demonstrate my work to your class. You're Professor Ellis? Yes. Oh. <clears throat> yes. You specialize in bionics, right? Neurobionic interfaces. Yeah, isn't that what Dr. Frankenstein was working on? He means Dr. Francis Stein. Didn't she go crazy doing experiments on herself? Yeah, yeah, she did. That's why she doesn't work here anymore. She's mad. Mad, I tell you. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. That's enough of this. Dr. Frances Stein was quite brilliant in her day. But even a genius needs to recognize when her time at the controls is over. You worked on the memory project with Frances for a year and a half. She lost her job and husband over it and apparently went a little crazy. She came back after several months of being a recluse to take revenge on him, on Patrick. That seems to be the story from you and your colleagues. But here's my problem with that. There's no data left accurate or fraudulent, she's not here to explain herself. She did, in the end, destroy everything. That puts you in a very interesting position, Mr. Newman. You are the only person left who could possibly reconstruct the memory retrieval device. What do you want from me? We want what's in your head. Implementing phase one.
This is Victor. He's our equipment specialist. Very special equipment. Do you know what this does? Why don't you explain it, Victor? Well, it's simple. It's like a microwave for your brain. So I take this gadget and I put it on your head. Then I start the machine. And let's just say you'll experience some pain. Please, please, I don't know anything. I don't know anything! Jennifer, bypass security. Bypassing. Compile all activities last 30 days. Compiling. Organize results by category. Completed. Activity consists of 72 games of solitaire, 34 hours of Netflix viewing, and 17 Google searches. The top search term is Patrick Stein Wedding, followed by Jane Ellis, followed by Rodent Care. That's it? I can't be right. I have a complete list on screen. I want to know where she is. Did you track her? Francis Stein has left no data trace in the last 72 hours. None. What is she doing? Perhaps I can help you. What is it you were hoping to find? I want to know where she is. I suggest a search of all public and private online references to Francis Stein over the last five days. Ten days. Do it. Jennifer, music? The usual. Yes. Like I said, he just went running past me down the stairs. Are you sure it wasn't her? I'm sure it wasn't her. It was a man. I know the difference between a man and a woman. And I'm not exactly sure he was actually in the apartment. I mean, all I know is that I heard a noise upstairs and I saw him on the landing and then he went flying right past me. Your wife has not been keeping regular hours, if you know ah. what I mean. Well, she hasn't been. Are you looking through her phone? You know, I, I heard it buzzing up here. I, I thought maybe, uh, maybe that's what knocked the vase in the floor. Why do you think she left dead flowers sitting out? She must not have been here for weeks. Mom, I told you I saw her. No, but you don't remember when you Zoe saw. snuck out after midnight. What? She Kate, doesn't want to admit that? it. Don't. No, did you? When was I that? didn't. Will did. you just she shut did. up? If you don't need anything else, I think we're done here. Aren't you worried about your wife? It's not my job to worry about her anymore. And she's my ex-wife. I'll, I'll have a talk with him, because he doesn't need to be getting on to my little sweetie. Mom. Oh, he's gonna be okay. She's gonna be okay. Yeah, pretty. You're so cute. You're so cute. You scared of me? Hi! Who's daddy's girl? That's because you're so pretty. I mean, you're naturally pretty. And it's so hard to get a good job. That's what you're saying. I mean, he. he you can go anywhere and you can do anything and I'm so afraid sometimes and I'm sorry but I'm so afraid sometimes because I don't want you to go through what your mom did. The, the girls in junior high. Are you kidding? My mom's not even going to let me go. Oh God, you have your class wrap? Well, I need to get to class. Don't be mad at me, Mr. Cook. Mr. Jones, I've got a big <laughs> friend's school suspension. <laughs> No. 
collapses. Neurological program. Synaptic plasticity. Details. I have cataloged 2,347 items. Shall I list them? No, sort them by most recent in each category. Sorting. What is this? The item is a text document which appears to be a list of mammals and their corresponding brain data sizes in ascending order. Gerbil, 500 gigabytes. Rabbit, 700 gigabytes. Dog, 18 terabytes. I compiled this list. Where did you get it? The item appears to be a facsimile image made on a scanner in your department and automatically saved to the server. Which scanner? I'm retrieving a map. That's the chemistry lab. What else came from that scanner? The documents include schematics of a neurological device designed to fit the small rodent category of mammal brain. No, 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 that shouldn't be there. Is that a question? Continue checking, Francis. Send me a text if she shows up anywhere. Anywhere. Complying. If you don't struggle, it won't chafe. I heard you playing piano. You play beautifully. Is that our piano? My piano. This is my house? My house. No! <gasps> 
Francis, you don't have to do it. No, Francis, don't drug me. No, please, I'll be quiet. I promise, I promise. You don't have to drug me again. Francis, no, no, Francis, Francis. You mustn't hurt the body. This is just one example of the latest in interrogation. Believe it or not, we'd prefer not to hurt people. And that's why we need the memory retrieval device. What are you holding out for? You have plans for the device? You're gonna play your institute against Neurocom so you offers you the most cash? I would never betray Dr. Stein's work that way. You know something. I don't. Ready? Yes, 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 yes. What's this? Resurrection theory. Whoa. What is this doing here? Uh, won't be here much longer. for almost two years. You know something, you're too smart not to. Now talk. Talk! Fine. We'll start with something simple. Ice pick to the eardrum. Francis, please, I'm sorry. You don't have to do this, I'm sorry. I'll go away, I won't tell anyone, not even Patrick. I can find you a specimen, it's better than me. Somebody that won't be missed. Maybe you should have given me that up. I, I, I have a lot of useful skills. Francis, I, I can get you funding for all of your projects. I can get you reinstated. You can even have Patrick back. Francis, I can't do anything. Francis? What are you doing? Oh my God. Francis?
I'm back. You look like shit. <sighs> mm. Where is she? Sedated. Have you started phase one? Yes. Mrs. Craven thought she saw someone leaving it. Wanted to call the police. Did somebody break in? I suspect it was Avery. He stole your laptop. It's clean. Went through your phone. There were dozens of messages from him. Anything we should be worried about? Not really. Just general. Where are you? I want to work with you. I'm so in love with you I can't think straight. Really? I'm exaggerating. You think he knows anything? Well, he knows I had an early success, but he thinks I destroyed everything for ethical reasons. He's, he's a distraction, nothing more. I mean, anything he thinks he knows will be inaccurate, and after I'm dead, it won't be... Francis, be... please. Oh, I'm sorry. After tomorrow, it won't matter anymore. Is there any way we can speed things up? No. We need all of Jane's memories for reference. It could take anywhere from four to... Francis? Francis! I'm here. I'm here. The tumors are spreading fast. gonna get worse. What do you want from me? You want the truth. Victor? You ever heard the expression sliding down a razor blade to a pool of alcohol?
brainstem. I've done the brainstem procedure 36 times. It works exactly as we hoped. You have such good hands, my dear. You like the body. I like it much better once you're in it. She's been a busy little body. Take a look at this. So here's the thing, Dr. Vandiver. The research in the private sector is only getting so- That's the new INS president. Vandiver. Yes, about two months ago, after the fellowship award, before the wedding. <sighs> I knew she was up to something. Shit. She knows how to go right for the power center. No wonder Vandiver wanted me to reboot your project. I've created a sham set of data and buried it in your laboratory computer. Avery will be the most likely to dig around once I'm gone, but if somebody else finds it first, all the better. They'll think they have something, but they'll never have the key. Once you copy a brain, it's a small step to implanting it in another body. I'm gonna miss this body. <sighs> Me too. Here. <sighs> we'll need this later. I can do it myself. No, I'll do it. Make sure you destroy the back of my head, near my neck. Shoot down. Patrick, this is the most important step. You have to tell me now if you have any doubts. Once we insert the brain stem converter, we'll have two hours to transfer my brain into Jane. Otherwise, we'll both die. What if it doesn't go the way we expect? Patrick, we've been over this. What if... You won't want me anymore after you're in this young body? What if... What if you decide you don't want me? Francis, I'm afraid... I'm afraid I'm losing you, no matter what. Patrick, my love. If your body starts to wear out, we'll get you a new one. And live forever. We need him conscious. You ready to talk? I, I, I don't know anything. Tooth pain. Tooth pain. See, it doesn't sound as bad as, let's say, plucking your fingernails out one at a time. It's worse. <laughs> See, a tooth, not unlike a tree, has different layers. First, you have to break through the enamel. Then, you have to break through the dentin. And then, you reach the nerve. This is gonna be extremely painful. <laughs> that is enough! Just what the hell do you think you're doing? I said to get him to talk. You're torturing him. You hired me to do a job, and I'm doing it. Now why don't you wiggle your sweet little ass out of here? And I'll let you know when we're finished. Take your specialist and get out. Get out now or I'll call security and have you removed.
Mr. Newman. Mr. Newman, can you hear me? Untie me. Please get me out of here. You're injured. Just sit tight and I'll get a medical team up here to look at you. Would you like some water? You'll be okay. I promise. Jennifer, catalog this drive. Code and secure everything. Top secret. Complying. Jennifer, inquiry. What is resurrection theory? Resurrection theory involves the transfer of a functioning human consciousness into a brain-dead but still functioning human body. It is often confused with reanimation theory. It has its roots in the Mary Shelley novel Frankenstein. More. It is postulated that since thinking is primarily a function of electrical synaptic impulses, that the patterns of the brain could theoretically be copied and spliced onto another living brain. The primary complication in this postulation is the brainstem, which serves as a hard drive partition. I knew it. Jennifer, track any unusual activity at the address of Dr. Patrick Stein? Anything. Complying. I'll help you get her prepped before I get in the other chair. I think you may have dosed her too strongly. Isn't she supposed to be conscious for the transfer? She'll wake soon. If you have a seizure during the transfer, what happens? Well, that would fry her brain tissue. We'd both die. Don't worry. I have enough serum left to buy us a little time. Phase one is 70% complete. Why don't you check on our vitals before we get started? Francis, you need to see this. Hey. Hey, now. Take the bed. When was this? About a week before your wedding. Fuck. I have no idea. Where is she exactly? I don't know, but she's a sneaky little bitch. Warning. Warning. What the hell? What's going on? Get her Get her away! We couldn't ever die on us! Warning. <laughs> No! 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 for a fool. Let's go. We don't have time for this! I said let's go! Then shoot me. Don't play games with me, Jane. I'm a desperate man. I know. And you mustn't hurt the body. Goodbye, Patrick. Get her downstairs! Hurry! I didn't expect them to treat you like that. I don't approve of their methods.
I don't know what they think I know. Avery, I'm not stupid. We both know you have the information we need. But I, I really... Shh. Frances underestimated you, didn't she? She didn't know your worth. She didn't know how valuable you really were. How smart you are. How brave. This doesn't have to be a story with a sad ending. Please don't do that. Tell me. Tell me what you know. I'll make you feel good. Please, please. Unusual activity detected. Go ahead. The electrical usage at the Stein address has surged dramatically over the last four hours. Surged? Exponentially over previous usage. Show me the last 24 hours. Complying. Cook everything, Jennifer. Can't we give her some chloroform? Too risky. She's got to be conscious for the transfer. No, Patrick. We have to start Patrick, phase two. I'm getting the hardware ready. Patrick, Patrick, come on. You know how good I am. Remember, Patrick, Patrick, remember. You like it when I'm sucking you off. You like it when I'm riding you, don't you remember? Come on, baby. Come on, you want me. Patrick, you want me. Patrick, Patrick, you know this isn't right. I am your wife. Patrick. Patrick, come on, please. I'm young. I'm sexy. Yeah, I know. That's quite the bonus. <laughs> now shut up! <laughs> it's okay. We'll just have to add it to the narrative that we give the police. Does it hurt? Doesn't matter now. I'm starting phase two. It's in position. Attach. Implementing phase two. Francis. Francis! Shit! Francis. Kitchen. Kitchen. Kitchen.
phase three will begin in two minutes. We have to hurry. I know. What are you doing to her? Avery? Avery! Calm, calm down. Just, just give me the calm. What are you doing to her? Avery! Listen to me! Implementing phase three. Princess? I know, I know! We have to do it now. Avery, give me the gun! Let her go! Put me down the gun! Let her go! Put it down! Put it down! Down the gun! Let her go! Put it down! you been through enough? You were very brave to fight against her the way you did. You must have felt so helpless. We can take care of you now, Avery. I'm sure you remember something that would help us. So we can help you forget all of this. This is your last chance. They have no reason to let you live unless you have something to give them. I almost had it. No, you didn't. He's a tough little son of a bitch. If he knew anything, he would have told us by now. Let him go. I'm free to go. Have a nice day. Identification? Talk about this uh, neurobionics thing that you're doing these days. Oh, yeah, it's the neurobionic interfaces. You know what they say? It's not rocket science. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, it sure sounds like it could be. <laughs> hey, you know what? I heard Victor was in today. Sector ID.
Everything's gonna be okay. What about you? Slight change of plans. seek forgiveness why desire justice vengeance gives one closure and release get over the betrayal ignore the accusations play the piano play your final piece damn the torpedoes Ahead. Forget the bullshit that you learned in school. I am touched by death, touched by love and fools. Do I seek forgiveness? Do I desire justice? Vengeance gives one closure and release. Get over the betrayal. Ignore the accusations. Play the piano, play your final piece. Do I seek forgiveness? Do I seek forgiveness?